you can heal. And I wish you can move up. That's what I wish for you to do. Wisha, wisha. You can go to the left side, and you can go to the right side. Goddamn barbarians. I'll deal with you later. Finish him off. More XP for the archers, yes. Very good, and get yourself a library. I almost said Liberi, like a Libra. Like one of those zodiac signs. Alright, so. Stay where you are. France and Russia are now friends. Oh, that's good. Once we're fully healed, we should push on the Ottomans. First is a really good starting city to conquer. Catherine has declared war on the Ottomans. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. More allies against the Ottomans, the better. Alright, so we have even more happiness, which is nice. But that's because of the salt. And we should really save up money so that we could continue having Jerusalem as our ally. Denounce the Ottomans. Oh, that should be easy. I can't even do that now. That just sucks. Why did I do that before? Ah. Oh. Maybe if I... Maybe if I make peace with the Ottomans, then I could... I can kind of do it. Oh, but I don't want to wait 10 turns. <laughs> Give me a... Give me a mine on the hill, and you can move back to Persepolis. Ooh, yes! Spread the religion, I say. And 100 gold for free. That's nice. In fact, we should auto-build missionaries. Convert Jerusalem to Zoroastrian. Okay, and... Yeah, just one more turn should be fine. Ah, uh, fuck. We'll do it later, as soon as we're done um, finishing up our conquest against the Ottomans. One city, and then we'll be done. Yeah. And then we'll start up the war again. Napoleon has declared war on the on Germany. Well, that nobody saw that coming. I mean, come on, everybody saw that coming. Look at this, they're right next to each other. Of course they're going to declare war on each other. The two superpowers of, er of Europe. A horse. A horse. A horse to have sex with. Yes. One horse. One man. One destiny to be one. Alright, so, yeah, it was... No doubt in my mind was there ever going to be war against Germany and fr France. I mean, look at them. They're right next to each other. It's going to happen. Um, So, yeah. In the grand scheme of things, I think I'm going to have to let Jerusalem go for a bit. And then once I'm done conquering some parts of the Ottomans, I'm going to make them my allies again and then denounce the Ottomans and keep them. So, yeah. They've acquired iron. That's nice. All right. It's good. Ooh, the missionary has another use. Um, We could spread it to... You know what? I'd rather spread it to Susa. Because I know there's more of a chance of it spreading. Or maybe Jerusalem. There's already one follower over there anyway. Let's go to Jerusalem. Yeah. Should be really good. Um, You know what? Right now we can just move up. We really can. And right. So with that said, you can bombard. You can go right next to the city. And you can follow up. And that should be all good. Yeah, um, the archers are going to climb up the hill, so that's fine. Yeah, that's all good for a battle plan. You guys are doing your own thing. Yeah, you really are. Next turn. Right, build me a mine, and you can continue walking. We really do need the gems. In fact, we probably won't even get the gems. Which sucks, but what are we going to do about it? God, the food around here is atrocious. I mean, look at how much food we're getting each turn. Holy crap. Does the food here suck? Thank God the Petra should fix things. 
Oh my god, if someone if someone steals the Petra from me, I'm literally uh, this game might be fucked. This game is probably going to be fucked because right now we're in such a he Hi, desert heavy place. Alexandro say me. He also an actor. And now we found Alexander, this asshole. Oh, they're actually not being pushed by the Ottomans. That's good. Prosherku. All right. Will they accept luxury resources? All right. That's all fine. Yeah, Burst is right now undefended. So that's really good for me. Oh, I think the Ottomans are actually declaring war on the the Greeks. That makes actually sense. The Ottomans fighting the Greeks. It's like the Greek independence. Except without explosions. Alright, well that's fine. I always I knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, so catapults. Time to fire! The catapults. <laughs> that was a ton of damage. You can move up. This archer can move up. And we're going to be taking that city shortly. You can upgrade the wine. This warrior can actually move back. And then the immortal can take its place. Yvonne has a spearman. That's cute. And yeah, you immortals can stay where you are. You can move up. Try to convert Jerusalem to Zoroastrianism. Ooh! Yes! It worked! Yes! So now I have 250, which is 263, which is really good, but I really don't need to come um, to waste 250 gold on making Jerusalem my ally again, simply because I'm going to be denouncing the Ottomans soon. So yeah, we're going to save a good chunk of money. Oh, the Petra's our only way for this area of our, well, for our empire to really thrive simply because we're in such a desert heavy environment so we really do need the petra it won't help a well it won't help that much but it will help nevertheless like it'll it'll put us in a better situation religious settlements okay that's that's good i guess why are they aiming at the archers of all things Now let's see these three immortals i think only this one and this one can attack this one could just stay because i don't want to get i don't want to attack across a river that's just bad all right so you're in open terrain open terrain open terrain well wait hill okay so most of these are in open ter terrain which is fine most of my area in this game well most of the area in this side of the world is open terrain so yeah, open terrain bonuses are good. I mean, if most of my part of the world is open terrain, then why not get open terrain, you know? Yeah, bombard Bispersa again. And you can attack again. And you can finally conquer the city. And we can create a puppet, which is really nice. Bursa is now our city. Oh, and we have plus 100 gold because now they're converted to my religion. We have wine, we have horses, we have gems. That's all good. Should we make peace? Well, that's a good question. Should we? You can heal up. You can build me a plantation. You can heal up. And you can stay where you are. All right, that's good. Next turn. Yes, YouTube, I have learned from my mistakes of the last Let's Play, so everything should be fine. La France fine. We're allies with Russia, Russia's allies with France. Let's make a, a three-way. It's not gay if it's in a three-way. It's not gay if there's some leeway. Ooh. Silver, citrus, gold. All of your gold? Really? You know, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make peace. It's a good deal. Good deal. We now have a ton of gold. A ton of happiness. And just a really good deal. We've also gained one city from the Ottomans. So this entire war was actually very good. And also, we've killed... How happy are you? We've killed a ton of their units. 
but we haven't lost a single unit. So all in all, this war was a complete success. We've gained a city. We've we haven't lost a single unit, and we've gained a good amount of gold and a ton of what was it? Happiness from luxury resources. Also, Selam live. Denounce. And now we've gained back the Alliance of Jerusalem. Well, soon. Yeah, just take some time to load. Alright, so this was a really good war. Yeah, very good, in fact. Better than the last war I played. Um, well, I, I won against. Which was a three-way. But, yeah, this was a really good war. My combat skills have improved a ton ever since that other Let's Play. So, everything should be smooth sailing. Get on the hill. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Aha, yes. And by denouncing the Ottomans, now France is denouncing the Ottomans. So everybody against, is against the Ottomans. Good. Now Greece is denouncing the Ottomans. The Ottomans are going to be out of the game. Yes, three people. This is nice. Oh, well, no one cares. No one is going to like the Ottomans. Because of that, no one's going to trade with the Ottomans. And because no one's going to trade with the Ottomans, then they're going to be in an economic downfall. And I've gained back the Alliance of Jerusalem without wasting a single penny. This was excellent. Purely excellent. Well, truly excellent. Not purely. It wasn't pure at all. There was blood everywhere. Gore. Ottoman gore all over the place. Blood. Sweat. Tears. Mostly tears. Oh, I've also gained a worker. So yeah, this was a really good war. And Yervon is scared of me again. We will ask for tribute because we are dicks like that. More money is always good. The Petra will soon be completed, so that's fine. Alright, why am I turning my head for the clock? There's a clock. I share your convictions, that's good. Es wäre in eurem ah. Interesse, dass ihr dieses Angebot sorgfältig prüft. For Ottoman Citrus, only one. I only have one of these. How about you take the cotton? Eh, that should be fine. Yeah, that's good. Now we, now in that trade, we didn't lose any happiness, and we've gained more gold than we had in the past, which is really good. You'll pay for this. So yeah, we've gained flat gold and we've gained gold per turn. Excellent. Very good. 20 gold, 7 gold per turn is usually the deal that um, other civilizations would want to have for one luxury resource, which is okay. That's reasonable. I just have to remember that from time to time. And Citrus to Bismarck. Alright, that's fine. Oh, we've already had a deal with um, Bismarck over Citrus. Wow, I didn't even notice. Alright, so. Um, let's see. Plus one production from sheep, horses, and cattle. We have sheep. And plus 15% production when building mounted units. I'm not planning on building mounted units anytime soon. Production will help out, though. Is this being used? Yes, it is. Uh, but it, it's 14 turns. I'd rather get the market right now. Get some more gold per turn. Persepolis will be will be an incredible city once the Petra is made. And you can move up. Can I upgrade you by any chance? To something better? You can do nothing. In fact, let's fortify our position. Yeah, that should be all good. In fact. Yeah, that's even better. We should really build another scout. Scout out the Arabian plain. Expand a bit in Arabia. Into Arabia. Um, Bismarck and Napoleon have made peace, which is weird, but okay. They're probably going to be in a... On, the, the Germans and the French are going to be in a lot of wars against each other. Just like how the English will be against France in a lot of um, situations. And blah, 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 and all that good stuff. Like, Europe is just going to be a hotbed of war after war after war after war against each other. I mean, there's more civilizations in Europe than in the Middle East. 
So there's going to be a ton of wars against each other. The Romans will attack the Sp Spanish. And then the Spanish will attack the French. The French will attack the Germans. England will attack everyone. Sweden will feel weirded out. And yeah. Let's move these guys right over here. If you want to get in a nice concave, you can go around. Yeah, stay where you are. Probably going to attack the Ottomans as soon as our treaty is done. Glory will be nice. You're done with that. That's good. You can get me some sheep. Yeah, sheep right over here. Come on, Petra. Bismarck has entered the medieval era, which is bad because they're, they're really gaining a ton of science. That sucks. I wonder if Arabia is still doing pretty good. Nope, they're actually doing even worse. 0% science? What? What is this? This is crazy. I, oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to show this. How are you 0% in science? Mecca has one of the... Arabia has one of the best starts in the entire game. How are you 0%? I'm just... What? Are you serious? 0%? No technologies are being founded? It's just crazy. It's just... Oh, holy crap. Arabia must be a pushover right now. <laughs> France has denounced Germany. That's fine. God, Arabia right now is like France in the gunpowder age. Where they're just... Well, not the gunpowder age, but after Napoleon. Where they can just, like, you know, get pushed around over and over again like little pussies. And then, and then just conquered every single time. I mean, seriously, they lost against Nazi Germany in less than a month. So, that's a bit pathetic. Poland was even worse. Three things are to be looked to in a build. <laughs> Nothing against Polish people or French people, but still, how could you lose that fast to Germany? Then again, how could 300 Spartans take on that many Persians? And I'm Persian, so I feel pretty much really really ashamed really ashamed right now i mean ah oh, 300 seriously okay so great wall is fine and all but i don't want to build any um wonders anytime soon simply because someone will come around and go like oh hey that's a nice wonder you got there be ashamed if someone just you know re build it before you do and ironworking. Do we need swordsmen? That's a good question. 14. Well, we already have some iron coming in from Jerusalem, so why not use them? Use the iron for the best of our. Well, to the best of our ability. Yeah, th th this is good. I mean, if we're getting iron anyway, if we're getting iron anyway from Jerusalem, we might as well use it. But what else can we do? I kind of want to get theology so that we can build the Haji Sophia. Oh no, the Great Mosque of J J the Jin. Oh my god, this would be awesome. All missionaries can spread the religion three times, which should be which will be important for us. I mean, excuse me. The Great Mosque of the Jin will help us out so much. Because of the fact that missionaries will spread the religion three times. Which means our missionaries will be extremely powerful. And give us those 100 gold bonuses even faster. And provides us with a free great mosque. Also, plus three faith. Hey, not bad. And Haji Sophia is really good too. Because then we get a great profit. With a great profit, we can get... Um, we can enhance our religion. Or build a holy site. Also, we get a free um, temple, which is really good for us, simply because temples give us faith. So, you know what? Yeah, let's get theology, then we go um, to iron working. I mean, yeah, sure, we can use our iron to better our military, but hey, we can always do that anytime we want. And besides, the, the people we're versing off against aren't necessarily the strongest military forces on the planet. Ottomans are, are right now a pushover, and the Arabians haven't even discovered any technology yet. So, we're, we're good. We can... We can just run on warriors for, um, right now. Well, right now. Also, if Russia wants to declare war on me, and right now we're best friend, we're BFFs right now, so they're never gonna declare war on me. But if they do, they have to get past Yervon, so they can never get a sizable. They can never get like a sizable military force to attack me, 
And if India wants to attack me, good luck. I have a ton of modern rangers to protect me. So right now, I have all these natural defenses to pretty much block any invader from attacking me. Which is really good. This is why I love Persia. Persia has really bad sites for cities simply because they can't grow. But hey, at least we have defenses against uh, massive armies. In Civ 4, it didn't matter because... You know, in Civ 4, there wasn't really much of a combat besides stacking units and then attacking. But in Civ 5, it matters a ton. Terrain matters all... Terrain is as necessary as unit strength in Civ 5 for combat. Ooh, that was a lot of talking. Oh, God. So, yeah, if... You know what? You guys already get the idea. I'm going Theology so I, so I can get the Great Monster of the Jinn. Get more faith, get my make my missionaries even more powerful than they already are. And the Haji Sophia so we can get the great prophet, build us a ho holy site, or expand our religion. Well, make our religion even better. What was it? Enhance, yeah, enhance our religion. Okay, so our friendship with Arabia has run out of time, that's okay. Can you grow? Or aren't can you grow? Seriously. I'm just about to annex this. You know what? Yeah, let's annex this. Change it to courthouse. Why aren't you going? You're not going because of that reason. Okay. Good God, Bursa sucks. Oh, God. I mean, I love the natural resources, but come on. Okay, horses. We'll start with that. Yeah, you stay where you are. In fact, can I upgrade you, please? I chugged the last of my coke, which sucks. No, I have no more coke! No! Okay, 300 is minimum required for your next chance at a great profit. Okay. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, let's stop building missionaries for now and just save for a great profit. Then we'll build missionaries. Yeah, we should have never rushed that missionary because now we're actually behind in our great profit production. We could have been the first religion to get a great profit, but no. Now we're actually behind the Christianity. So we need to enhance our religion quick to get those amazing enhancer belief um, improvements. Well, to get those... Um, enhancer beliefs and once we get those enhancer beliefs then we'll go on to missionary production in fact we should really check out the enhancer belief for Christianity oh fuck religion spreads 34% faster 68% with printing press that's actually really good for us because if we had that enhancer belief then we would be getting those 100 plus um, Gold, we would be getting those 100 gold bonus even faster because our religion is spreading even faster than usual, which means people will be worshipping our religion even be um, even faster. Uh, I just don't... Uh, that, was, that was phrased so bad. Alright, if we had that enhancer belief, then our religion would spread faster, and since our religion would spread faster, more of our city, more cities would convert to our religion more cities that convert to our religion will get more 100 gold bonuses blah 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 all that good stuff and yeah and then we missed out that sucks and the ottomans right now have a useless navy they can they can't do anything against my military which sucks oh fuck I can't believe they got that before I did. Uh, what am I going to do? At least now we're switching. I hope there's enhancer beliefs that are actually good though. Desires copper? You seriously want copper? I can get that anytime. Could you be afraid of me so I can steal money from you again? Okay, these barbarians are really pissing me off. Immortal, you go down and finish things all right okay you can move and you can stay 700 gold banked up that's good good amount of gold 
Come on, build me some more shit. More shit is good. And next turn, we'll have the Petra. Awesome. And yes, yes, all right, that's good. Let's see what you can give us, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck, no. All right. I guess that's his only luxury resource. That's why he values it so much. Philosophy plus plus fifty percent science is actually really good, but that's a national college. Yeah, we're going to need to get organized religion stat. Okay, that's good. More trade routes. More trade routes, the better. Kill the brute! Kill the brute! Please kill the brute! Oh yes, a stoneworks would actually be wonderful. More happiness, more production. Yes, get that. Get that shit. And what else can we do? Oh, we can, we can get the quarry on that stone. And we should be fine right now. Well, right now we actually do need to get that barbarian. But once we're done with that, then we're fine. And wow, Athens is doing. Athens has a really good start. Right next to the coast, has some fish, horses, wheat, wine, citrus. Really good. Yes, the Petra. Who drinks the water I shall give him, says the Lord. We'll have a spring inside him, welling up for eternal life. Let him bring me to your holy mountain in the place where you dwell. Across the desert and through the mountain to the canyon of the crescent moon. Indiana Jones said that. That's that's just badass. All right, so now all of our desert tiles would be city must be built. So now all of our desert tiles in Persepolis will be even better than what they usually are, which is incredible for us simply because now Persepolis is actually a really good city and will grow normally. And we're going to get extra culture, which is awesome, amphitheater. Well, extra culture once archaeology is discovered, and we already have extra culture from the amphitheater that we get for free. Which is really good for us, simply because social policies are going to come even quicker than usual. So as you can see, these tiles are really good right now. Really good tiles. I say simply because a lot. What is this? Should come up with like a, a nickname or a keyword or some phrase like raffle tastic or something. Actually, wait, I already say raffle tastic. Raffle tastic. Raffle tastic. This game is raffle tastic. Oh god, I sound like I'm retarded. Anyway, granary won't be as important here as other cities. Stable. Plus one production, not on ivory, which sucks. Sheep is good, but eh, I'd rather get more markets, or at least actually a barracks. You know what, a barracks, because this is my main, this is my main military city, and with a barracks, I'll get even better units. So you know, so you know what, we'll get a barracks. I mean, if Persepolis is my main military city, I need a barracks. It's just, it's just common knowledge to get a barracks. How do you have 51 gold per turn? What the fuck? Holy crap. The AIs in this game are just ridiculous. In fact, wait, you don't... After a barracks, we should really get something else. We should get a settler. In fact, we don't have as much need for a barracks as we do for a settler. So you know what? Settler, then barracks. We already have one turn into barracks, so it's okay. But still, right now my military is okay, so... We really... We really do, don't need a barracks. The same reason why we don't really need iron working right now. Because the need for strong military units isn't really massive right now. 
However, later on in the game, yes, they will be. <laughs> and you can get yourself a quarry. Catherine has entered the medieval age. That's fine. Oracle. I wasn't even going to get that anyway, so it's well fine. Throw my boogers at the wall and make a little painting out of them. Always the best activity to do when playing this game while you're waiting for turns. You know what? Yeah, let's use the immortal to scout. And we should use another immortal to take out that this encampment because it's really causing me a headache next turn we have a good amount of gold banked up holy crap and you want to open board sorry that's fine copper what would you get me for copper is this okay no no uh it's because it's the only Luxury resource they have, I guess that's the problem. Yeah, no. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I get the idea. You love your copper, okay. What will Russia do with 13 horses? That's a good question. Just mass Cossacks. The Cossacks, they're everywhere! God, I could just feel my headset move. There is only one good. Hold on, I need to move my headset so it doesn't move that much. Uh, all right, maybe that's better. Yeah, it does keep moving. All right. Yep, let's get piety. More faith is good faith. If only there was a religious victory in this game, then that would be badass. But I guess it would suck because everybody would just sit on their asses and just... You know, get more faith. But hey, that's not the... But hey, people already sit on their asses to get a scientific victory anyway, so why not? Scientific victory, faith victory, badass victory, which is domination. And being everybody's bitch victory, which is diplomacy. I remember when Civilization Revolution had an economic victory where you would build the biggest bank in the world and just become a super bank okay the second war against france and germany has begun someone should really keep track of these wars between france and germany just to see how long it takes before someone conquers each other well before one civilization conquers the other or if they make full peace with each other like an alliance or something and we have a great profit it's good Great profit, enhance my religion. And let's see what we can get. Defender of the faith is pretty good. Religion spreads the cities 30 plus 30% 30 further away. Cost less faith. Ooh, that's actually really good. I'm not gonna get profits every three seconds though. Maybe that too. <laughs> 